Hi everyone, it's Harry Foam here and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install and use Lunar Client for Minecraft Java Edition and so firstly I'm just going to be showing you guys how to install Lunar Client and what you want to do is go ahead and click on the link in the description and it's going to take you to this page over here where you can go ahead and download Lunar Client for Windows if you have a Windows PC or Mac OS if you are using a MacBook or if you have a Linux PC you can go ahead and download for Linux as well and now what you can do all right so i'm just going to go ahead and download for windows now since i've already downloaded it i'm just going to go ahead and skip and double click to open it and what you want to do now is just going to click on i agree so luna client is already running in the background as you can see so i'm just going to close it okay and now as you can see so now it's going to finish installing luna client even though i already have it installed and this is pretty much the process to install luna client now once you go ahead and install luna client it's going to automatically open up and by default you're going to be on launch 1.8 now you can go ahead and head to the settings over here and you can go ahead and change the allocated memory now the default is 3 gb but and that should be way more than enough but if you want you can increase it as well obviously and then you can also change your resolution to maybe 720p if your pc cannot handle 1080p and then over here is the store so once you click on it you're going to be launched to the web page where you can buy like lunar plus and all of these items and so this is basically the whole and you can also go ahead and check out servers and this is basically the whole launcher and now what you can do is just go ahead and click on launch 1.8 or you can actually go ahead and choose any version that you would like even 1.19 as well all right so once it starts minecraft you actually have to sign in with your microsoft account and now i'm going to enter my microsoft account and be right back all right guys so once you sign in to your microsoft account you can go ahead and play single player or multiplayer whichever you prefer and yeah this should basically cover the video if you guys did find this video useful make sure to smash the like button subscribe if you aren't already and i'll catch you guys in the next video now goodbye